Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter 10, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Now you'll see that I did a little number line. Now I did it backwards this time. I'm gonna show you how to do it forwards on the next one. But um, I started at 1008 over on this side because I'm gonna go backwards and see where I land, okay? So basically, I need to go backwards 30 minutes, okay? So this one's eight minutes from 1008 to 10. Okay, then I have another 10 minutes to get to 950. Then I have another 10 minutes to get to 940. Well, this gives me 10 plus 10 is 20 plus eight. So now I need to take away two minutes so that I take away the 30 minutes because we're going backwards in time, not forwards now, okay? So now I've gone backwards so from 940, I need to subtract two. Well, 40 minus two is 38. So 9, 38. 9, 38 a.m. Because it says a.m. up here, okay? All right, now we're gonna use the same method, except for this time, I'm gonna start over here. Sometimes it's a little bit easier. I just started it going backwards last time because we're going backwards in time and I wanted you to recognize that. This time I'm gonna start over here. I'm still gonna go backwards in time, but we, oh, we have to find an ending time this time. So we're actually going forwards in time, sorry. So I'm gonna start at 2.40 or 2.15, okay? And I need to make 45 minutes happen, okay? So I'm gonna do one hop to 2.30 one hop to 245 and then one hop to three and I'm gonna see where we are then, okay? So here's 15 minutes, here's another 15 minutes, 15 and 15 is 30. So if I do another 15 minutes, that leaves me with my 45 minutes and I wind up at three o'clock. So three o'clock, Oops, sorry, not p.m., a.m., okay? You guys go ahead and try to do number four, okay? We're gonna go down to number five. It says, Jenny spent 35 minutes doing research on the internet. She finished at 7.10, so we're going backwards in time because it wants to know what time did she start her research, okay? So, I'm gonna start at 7.10. Okay, we are going to go backwards 35 minutes. So I'm going to do that in groups of 10 at first, okay? So if I go backwards, I've got seven o'clock. That's 10 minutes right there. Okay, I need to go back 35 minutes. So I'm gonna go by 10, so 6.50. Then 6.40, okay? So let's see where we're at, okay? From 7.10 to seven, that's 10 minutes. There's another 10 minutes to 6.50. There's another 10 minutes. So now I have 30 minutes added up here, okay? I only need 35, so I'm gonna take away another 35, which leaves me at 6.35. 6, 6.35 p.m., okay? All right, let's see what number six has. It says, Clark left for school at 7.43 a.m. He got to school 36 minutes later. So we need to do our number line. We're gonna start at 7.43, okay? I'm gonna get us to 7.50 before I do anything else, okay? So 7.50, and then I'm gonna put eight o'clock because 10 minutes after 7.50 is eight. I'm gonna do 8.10 right there, let's see where we're at, okay? So, 7.43 to 7.50, that's seven minutes. There's another 10 minutes, and there's another 10 minutes. So let's see where we're at. We have 27 minutes. Oh, we still can do some at least. Let's add another five and see where that gets us, okay? So now we're gonna put 8.15, okay? So that leaves us with five more minutes in there. So now I have 10. 20 and 7 plus 5 is 12 so that's 32 and I need 36 so I need to add four more minutes 
That leaves me at 8, 19. 8, 19 a.m. Okay? All right, guys, let's go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down and do this borrow review. It says Sierra has 30 collector's pens. She wants to put an equal number of pins into each of five boxes. How many pins does she put in each box? Well, I'm going to count by fives until I get to 30. So I'm going to have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Well, that's six. So now that means that each one of these boxes would have six in it. So she should put six pins in each box. Okay. What is the time shown on the clock? Well, the shorthand, the hour hand, is past the two, so that's gonna be two. It hasn't hit the three yet, so it's not there. And we're gonna go five, 10, 15, 20, and it's not quite to 25 yet, so I'm gonna put 24, because it's pointing at the one right before that. Now, we don't know if it's a.m. or p.m. because the clock goes around twice a day, one for a.m. and one for p.m. So we don't actually know if it's a.m. or p.m., so it's just going to be 2.24, okay? All right. Ricardo has 32 books to put on four shelves. He puts the same number of books on each shelf. How many books does Ricardo put on each shelf? So four times blank is 32. Well, I know that four times... 8 is 32, so 8 books. Okay. All right. John started playing a computer game at 5.35 p.m. He finished the game at 5.52 p.m. How long did John play? Well, let's see on our little line. We have 5.35. And let's go by 5s. So 5.40, 5.45, 5.50, and then we're going to add 2 for the 552. So we're at 550 here plus 2. Okay? So each one of these is 5 up until we get there. So 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 17 minutes. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 10.4. Come on back for 10.5. See you soon.